They didn't like Dragon Ball Z, right? Dragon Ball Z is the fucking shit, dude. Yeah. Too bad everyone involved with it's an asshole. Yeah, Dragon Ball, you know, uh, English Dragon Ball Z is on fucking fire right now. Dragon yeah. Ball Super, all that good shit. Please disperse! <laughs> Nothing to see here, please! Because the uh, Funimation has had some shit come out. And, and I just want to say something where, you know, I, I, I tried to make a few videos on how Funimation would fuck with shit and fuck a few dubs. They, they never really went anywhere because, uh, you know, I, I was still really small. And the only people that would find them would be people going, dude, it does not fucking matter who gives a shit. So I would feel bad about it and delete them two weeks later. Guess what matters now, motherfucker? Yeah, this, this is my personal fuck you, I was right moment. Because as it turns out, well, this all started with the Vic Mignone case, you know, yeah. stay with Vic, but we're, we're going to explain that a little bit later. As it turns out, yeah, it turns turns out the uh, DBZ cast that spends all their time fucking virtue signaling and all that crap, they're, they're a bunch of fucking scumbags. They're all fucking scumbags. Goku, he's a fucking scumbag. Vegeta, he's a scumbag. Chi-Chi, scumbag. No, not Chi-Chi. Gohan, scumbag. Piccolo, oh. scumbag. Everyone's a scumbag. Everyone's a scumbag. So... Essentially, uh, some shit has come out, uh, come to light. Um, I think chronologically, the first thing that came out were um, allegations. The guy who is, I believe he's married to Bulma's voice actress right now. Yes. Uh, I think his name is Ron Toye. Uh, some shit came out about him uh, from his ex-wife with some proof backing it up. So So this it, is not a, a cancel pro Jared shit. It's, it's still it does have some some shit backing it up. She is going she I believe she's already gone to the police is what it was. But about him being violent, him doing some really really kind of fucked up shit. And by kind of fucked up I mean some really fucked up shit, you know. Yeah. Like threatening to fucking kill a judge's kid. Yeah. If he had one. You know, shit like that. It started like it started with that and people were like, "Oh, Maybe the people against Vic, you know, maybe not all of them are, are good people, you know. And up until this point, I had been like, you know, Sean Schimmel, I don't like real, I don't really like Sean Schimmel anymore. He's kind of an asshole. Grandma but, Goku is the only one. Grandma Goku, only Goku. Uh, but, you know, Chris, uh, Chris the Bat, I was like, you know, he seems to keep out of the limelight. So, he's a good guy. <laughs> Turns out he's not a good guy. <laughs> Turns out he's not a good guy. So, second chronologically is, uh, I believe, a audio... Uh, some audio leaked of Sean Schimmel saying fag. Hey, look at those faggot ass clothes. Faggot, faggot, fag, fucking fag. Mike says a fag. Yeah. Like a lot. Uh, now, I believe this leaked sometime before, but it never really picked up any coverage. People were like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, just so happens now it's the right storm. Uh, people are fucking pissed that, you know, uh, shit's come out. They're trying to throw More Vic under the bus. Came out. Yeah, more leaks came out. They're trying to throw Vic under the bus. Uh, turns out not everyone there is as crystal uh, crystal clear as they want to be. No. Uh, nothing like that. So people... This picked up a little bit of traction. Uh, on top of that, shit has come out about uh, Chris Sabat. Uh, he had audio... Or not audio, sorry. Text logs where he uh, he was talking to someone else. Uh, he tried to play it off as saying, no, it's specifically about Vic's fans. But he called the fans retarded. Yeah, straight so, up, fans are fucking retards. Yeah, so... You know, you you like Dragon Ball Z? You're a fucking retard. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you for giving me my fucking career. Thanks a lot, Vegeta. They also think they can whoop your ass! Ah, damn it! Yeah, so uh, people were pissed off about that. Now it comes out that fucking Chris Sabat was running a goddamn casting couch. Supposedly, if rumor should have been yeah. believed. Supposedly. I'm not sure how much evidence there is of this as of right now. Yeah. Uh, that being said, you know, it's just this kind of snowball effect that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, and it's just besperching the name of Dragon Ball Z you know you yeah. look up Dragon Ball Z what do you want to see you want to see you want to see cool fights you know you want to see like fucking uh, Gohan obliterating Cell you know Goku fighting Boo shit like that you don't want to see fucking Vegeta running a casting couch you don't want to see Goku saying fag so no. from a business standpoint Toei is like hey we're taking the rights away from you. Yeah, which, in regards to Funimation, losing the Dragon Ball Z rights is pretty much having your fucking heart ripped out. That means they're gonna lose, like, prob probably a good fucking 50% of their revenue, honestly. Yeah, well, I mean, if the biggest thing leaves, imagine how much else is gonna leave. Yeah, 100%. Might, if, I mean, if they lose DBZ, 
that's going to scare away other studios. So they also might lose Attack on Titan. They yeah. might also lose God willing Berserk because they fucked up the Berserk dub super bad. They deserve to. You know what? This is just retribution for the Berserk dub. This is retribution for everything they've done. <laughs> But yeah, so you have you have a bunch of fucked up shit that's coming out about them. Uh, it's it's just it's terrible. And I, the thing I find really ironic is so far the only person who doesn't have like a bunch of like of proof coming out about them is fucking Vic. Yeah. Like you just have a bunch of accusations but no proof. Yeah. If anything, those accusations are dying horribly. Yeah. I, I just find that so fucking funny. Yeah. So, basic story for those that have no idea what we're talking about. Vic Mignona is a voice actor that has done a lot of anime dubs. He yeah, did he voices, vo- yeah, he voices uh, Edward Elric. He yeah, voices Pomo, Broly. Broly. Uh, Broly was the big thing he did right before all this came out because yeah. the Dragon Ball Z movie. He did Broly. Dragon Ball Super uh, Broly. Yeah. yeah. And a whole bunch of other stuff. He's really well known, really beloved. Yeah, yeah. Just seems like a really cool dude. Yeah, he, seems like, he seems like a cool guy to hang out with. Yeah, he's just super nice. Like, apparently he's pretty religious, like, you know, yeah. that, that's kind of a thing about him, so he has at least some moral grounding compared to these <laughs> other assholes. He has some moral grounding. Uh, but yeah, and uh, that's possibly part of why he was targeted, um, because it, a lot of shit just started flying, and yeah. a lot of it was just minor offenses at first, you know, yeah. like, he wouldn't sign my Yaoi book, uh, possibly due to religious things, possibly due because he wouldn't want people to see his name you know signed on to that stuff you know yeah stuff that's reasonable uh me personally i sign a fucking yaoi book but i'm not Vic. i don't voice a fucking super popular character in anything yeah um another allegation was that he was trying to come on to a chick because of a joke with a jelly bean you're all a bunch of fucking idiots yeah and uh, that was i believe that was bulma's voice voice actress bulma and i want to say goku Damn it. Yeah, no, yeah, Sean Schimmel, uh, Sean Schimmel was backing her up super hard. Yeah. Um, Which I will say this about the leaks. To me, the only real, like, oh, how fucking could you is the fact that they're trying to crucify Vic over nothing while they have all this shit. Yeah. But the leaks are really fucking funny. Yeah. They're, like, it, they're casting, like, boulders, not rocks. They're casting boulders from glass houses. Yeah. And you give that shit to the internet, and the internet fucking... They, they get a fucking can, cannon. They're not chucking rocks anymore. They're ending your goddamn career. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty accurate to say. And I will say this about the leaks. They are funny. Yeah, like, all of them are funny except for Goku's to me. Like, Goku made me chuckle a little bit, but the fucking Chi-Chi one? <laughs> yeah, that, that's... It. The entire leaks are basically just someone going, hey, do you want your childhood to be brutally murdered? Yeah. Because here it is. Like, it, it, it is funny that this is coming from the guys that want to virtue signal they want to get rid- they wanted to get rid of fucking team four star I, I honestly feel like they wanted to get rid of team four star because they wanted to do what team four star did yeah they just wanted to they wanted to take their job from them. basically you get dragon ball z the butchered parody oh god yeah which using the actual voice actors could have been funny but eh. now we realize oh wait no it's not funny at all because you people are just really shitty yeah yeah so, this is another side effect of the cancel culture that we've been seeing. We've been having a mess for the last several, several videos. Basically, cancel culture success. Stop doing it. Yeah. Just stop, just stop, stop, or it bites you in the ass. Yeah. Vic actually is doing the smart thing, is outright suing the people that went after him. Yeah. Because, once again, this is the case of you accused a guy of rape, and you didn't go to the police. You probably should have done that, unless you had something you wanted to hide. You need to go to the police for things like this because the internet is not going to solve your problems. The The worst of times, it ends in somebody dying. The best of times, people fucking forget it. And Vic's doing the smart thing and it's just outright suing for slander. Which, yeah, that's actually a really smart thing to do and it'll be fun to see Funimation burn. Yeah, he was, he was, kicked, uh, he was kicked out of Funimation for, you know, Broly, one of his most popular characters. Whether or not he gets a shit ton of work as Broly, since Broly didn't show up too often, you know. Yeah. But still. Yeah, Broly, one of his most popular, Full Metal Alchemist is also his, that's not a pretty massive one. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you can't just boot a dude out due to lies and not expect backlash. That's not how this shit works. Yeah. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. But, who knows? This might all turn out pretty hilarious by the end. Man, I hope, I hope everyone gets back together and they all forgive each other. 
and we get one massive giant Dragon Ball Z orgy audio leak. Chris the bot, no. Chris the bot, please. But anyway, that's all we can really say on the matter. Hopefully this will all turn even more hilarious because at this point it's just pathetic. Yeah, at this point you just want to sit on the sidelines and point and laugh. Yeah. If you still think Vic is a rapist by the end of this, you're you're outright denying reality. Yeah. Because everything in the universe has changed simply to fuck over all the people <laughs> that accused him. <laughs> That's the only explanation for how hilarious this has gotten. Karma has changed the balance of the universe to fuck them. Specifically to fuck over Sean Shimmel. <laughs> Specifically to fuck Goku. Yeah. So, until then, I guess all we can say is like, comment, and subscribe. Click the little bell icon, but do it with your dick. Yeah. Do it like how the fucking DBZ voice actors would have wanted you to do it. Aww. So, see ya. See ya.